In a move that surprises absolutely no one, the Wizards of the Coast decided to change a little word in their lexicon of their Dungeons & Dragons game. Now, I'm not here necessarily to talk about the Wizards of the Coast and their change to D&D because, again, everybody could see this coming, but it will cover an article from Bounding into Comics, and I'm going to use that to kind of get into my larger point here, something I've been talking about on the channel for quite a while, and I think it's something that needs to absolutely be stressed and pushed and I think it's something that's not quite looked into so without any further ado ladies and gentlemen my name is Royce and welcome back to a drink with crazy I hope you are having a fantastic Monday evening and I look forward to seeing all of your comments down below love me or hate me I make sure to dedicate a special podcast or podcast on special live stream to you guys on Sundays at 11 a.m. so let's get into the bounding into comics article hmm it's drink the crazies, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't had a beer in the front half of the show in quite a while. So from bounding into comics, <clears throat> Dungeons and Dragons to remove the term race from the game lexicon due to its prejudiced links between real world and fantasy peoples. Uh, arriving at the inevitable end point of their 2020 promise to make games <clears throat> to make the game as inclusive as possible, Wizards of the Coast has officially announced that the problematic term. I love how they write this. Who wrote this? This is uh. This is Spencer. Okay. Uh, uh, the problematic term race no longer has a place in Dungeons and Dragons. The decision, uh, this decision, a way to, uh, this decision, a way to move away from uh, the word was first revealed by publishers on December 1st, courtesy of a post made to the official D&D Beyond blog. Dungeons and Dragons has a history <clears throat> of evolving to meet the needs of our players and foster an inviting space for everyone. Opened, <laughs> uh, opened Watsi. With that in mind, we understand race is a problematic term and has uh, prejudiced links between real world people and the fantasy peoples of the D&D worlds. The usage of the term across D&D and other popular IPs has evolved over time, they said. Now it's time for the next evolution, which is just to get rid of the word, apparently. Okay, moving to... Moving to detail the efforts they have already undertaken in service of this evolution, the publisher then recalled since the release of the 5th edition of D&D in 2014, we have made the conscious decision to reduce to reduce the usage of the term race uh, to apply to the game <clears throat> to only apply to the game mechanic. Uh, we took this we took this a step further with the release of Tasha's Cauldron of everything in 2020 when we presented an alternative to the character creation that untangled ability score improved uh, improvements from your choice of uh, playable people. They continued. We have also evolved the lore of the peoples throughout the D&D multiverse to be more diligent in extracting past prejudices and stereotypes and unconscious biases. However, rather than divorce the game from the concept altogether, Watsi instead plainly asserted that in the next unhearthed arcana uh, containing playlist materials for one D&D, we are presenting a replacement for the term race. The newest term is species. Now, there's a lot of people talking about this on Twitter. I was actually watching a fantastic uh, clownfish um, TV um covering this uh there was just neon geeky sparkles wasn't there and i'd actually so i was thinking about this i was like hmm, this is interesting to me now, i'm not a tabletop player i'm getting more into it now i'm actually working on building a tabletop game to do for the adwc gaming channel um but one of the things that i, I really really wanted to focus in on here is the focus here on words and language okay and i think we've gone through enough of this article at this point depending on how much longer it is yeah i probably won't finish it um but i do like spencer good job I'd like the way that you're right, man. That was really cool. I don't know Spencer personally, but, you know, I'm sure writers like to actually hear people compliment them. I like his style. But to go into this a little further, this is something that a lot of people just want to come out and be like, oh, why do these people, you know, you know, focus so much on this? It doesn't matter. It's, you know, what everybody needs to understand and to the larger point of why people seem that they seem to not be getting that I've, I've kind of understood for a little while now and something I really want to stress with this video. The reason they are doing this is because when it comes to everything that we are seeing in the world today with the culture war, with politics, the one thing that people seem to forget is that 
politics is downstream from culture and culture is downstream from language. Language being the words and the definitions that we use to communicate on a daily basis. Now, one of the reasons that this keeps happening, the reason it is so absolutely critical for them to make sure that they adjust the language they change they use the fact that we have a living language right like our language is a living language it's not like um it's not like latin where latin is you know latin's a dead language latin definitions are set they don't change it is important to them to make sure that they change the definitions in real time so that way when they need to control the culture and guide the culture to a certain political end they do it this is something so critically misunderstood and i get absolutely infuriated by those who may be similarly politically minded to myself who don't seem to understand. They're not just changing the words because they're offensive. They are making these words offensive in order to change the very definition of the words in order to affect the culture. If you allow these people to continue on with their ability to adjust language to whatever end that they seem to want to have, then we are going to see this constantly move further and further down the road. So, yes, Wizards of the Coast is coming out and they are going from race to species, which obviously they've never, they don't understand between the difference between the two, which is perfectly fine. It's a board game. Nobody gives a crap. Okay. But the problem is, is that what they are doing here is they, and in this article we saw from what, as long as it's truthful, from what the quotes were from WotC itself, Wizards of the Coast, that language is problematic and thusly we need to get rid of that language they and thusly by doing that will continue to change the culture this is something that has been taught at the college level for many many years okay language is so hugely important and nowadays people go off and they'll say things like well no this words means this no I, I but i but i have the dictionary definition here and then what we saw is that these college educated people got in control of the companies who actually write the dictionaries which i that's why i want to buy older dictionaries and they decided we're going to actively change and promote new defin definitions to these words because the one thing they cannot do is affect culture and affect politics and get down the road where they want to go if you they don't control your frame of thought and believe it or not your thought controls your words your words control your thought that kind of work tandem uh together and they're kind of a part of each other in one way or another and so in order to do this what they have to do is they have to control the language and get enough people to believe that certain words and certain definitions are changed this is going to cause what we now see is the cultural divide and this is something that is so very important that nobody wants to talk about everybody's like oh they keep putting these words in their bio how stupid are they he 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 you don't know now but the people putting the words in the bio may not understand the critical importance of putting those words in their bios on twitter what i need people to start focusing on because we need the cultural war words language definition make sure you mean what you mean and if somebody comes up to you and they say hey that word you're saying don't mean that. And you go, okay, why? And like, I have the definition right here. It's actually something my friends and I have done quite a lot. Specifically, my friend Matt and I. Whenever we get into debates or topics, we love talking like philosophy. We love talking history. We love talking various different things. We'll throw out words. And we're like, hmm, does that word mean the same thing that I think it means? And if he goes, hmm, I don't think it does. I'm like, okay. We pull up the definition. We read the definition. They go, can we agree on the definition of this word? In fact, this was something something that I think that Steven Crowder did very, very well in uh, his Change My Mind segments. I don't really watch Crowder anymore. I really only ever watched him for a short time, but he was actually the one that really made me think, hmm, and he used to stress the point, make sure you agree on the definitions. Do not give in to their definitions of the words, right? Now, we can't just do that when we are talking with people face to face. We have to do it in our own lives which means we may have to pull out the dictionaries once in a while. I still do. I do it on a weekly basis usually. One, because I want to make sure that I don't sound like a complete and total construction worker all the time, which I do enough of that after I have a few too many beers. But two, because I want to make sure that when I'm speaking, I'm speaking as intentionally as I can. 
Now, for an idiot like me, that's kind of hard to do sometimes, but it's something that for those people who are within the sound of my voice, who hear what I'm saying, who are much smarter than I, maybe you can take this to new heights. Maybe you can take this language and say, absolutely not. This language means this thing. You cannot change the definition of it. Because only then when we say no, you are not allowed to change our language, will the culture stop in its tracks. And you will see it, especially at the rate that information travels today. We as human beings are starting to learn how to somewhat cope with that, at least some of us are. And some of us aren't learning how to cope with the fact that information travels so fast. But let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of my little thought here. Is language that important? Do Are you the type of person that says, ah, it doesn't matter what your words they use, who cares? Do you think that language is intrinsically upstream from culture the way that I do? Because I asked the question years ago, well, if culture is upstream from politics, what's upstream from culture? Because there always seems to be something upstream from that, right? And then from there, you know, you go into, you can keep going back and forth as to what's before that, but language. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I want to hear what you think. I love reading all of your comments in my Sunday live stream at 11 a.m. I think it's something that, uh, one, keeps me in check when people correct me on my mistakes. I've, I have somebody correct me on mistakes just about every week. Uh, maybe not every week. Uh, and then I have people also tell me, hey, uh, have you thought about this? And maybe it's not a mistake that I made. Maybe it's just a thought that I hadn't taken to another conclusion. So regardless, if you want to be that person down there and saying, hey, look, man, you're so off base on this. It's not even funny. Go down in the comments below and tune in on Sunday at 11 a.m. right here on A Drink With Crazy. And I look forward to seeing all of you. Also, don't forget, also at 8 p.m. on Friday nights, we're doing Iron Age nights where we are shouting out the new creators, whether it's comic books, movies, different writers and authors, uh, people who are doing board games, anybody that I can find who is willing to build a culture who cares about the moralities that have taken us for thousands of years. You know, the good parts about being a human. You know, the people who want to write about the good parts about being human. Not the stuff that Marvel and DC and, you know, some other companies out there have been pushing for the last year. So check us out at 8 p.m. Central right here on A Drink With Crazy to check out Iron Age Nights. And ladies and gentlemen, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.